What's up guys and welcome back to His Way Farming Exotics. Today we are going to do some overseeding of grass seed in our pastures. But before we get started doing that, if you wouldn't mind, um, we would love it if you would subscribe to our channel. You can just click that subscription button. It doesn't cost anything. It's free. Uh, give us a thumbs up if you like what you're watching and click that notification so you'll know every time that we upload a new video. Um, like I said, it's free to do all of that. It just helps YouTube to know that you like what you're watching and it will help us make more videos in the future. So as I mentioned, what we're gonna do today is we are going to overseed some of our pastures. Um, if you've watched any of our past videos, you'll know that the farm that we have, um, it's old family land, but it was used for peanuts for several years. So the pasture grass, the pasture land, has been a real struggle for us to get to come back um, where the animals can freely graze all the time. So what we're gonna do today is we're going to lightly plow over um, the grass that is there, just kind of break up the soil a little bit, and then we're gonna broadcast um, all the new grass seed, and then after that, we'll come back with a drag and kind of just cover it up a little bit. So we're doing this because, first of all, a no-till drill is thousands of dollars. Uh, we don't have that to be able to, to do it that way. But if we do it this way, just kind of lightly plowing a little bit, uh, we won't lose all the vegetation that's already there because it is good ground cover. Um, it is food for the animals, even though it's not the best grass that there is right now. So if we do it in this way, we're going to get to keep our ground cover. The animals will still have something to eat and the current ground cover will give the new grass time to grow before the animals really start getting a hold of that. But I am crazy and I want to rinse the tractor off before I start working. I like it to be nice and clean. Uh, that way I start out the day nice and fresh. So we're going to go ahead and rinse off the tractor real quick and then we're going to get started. I think there is much that I hate more than a three-point hitch. Uh, they make little quick hitch attachments, which is going to be our next purchase because that just takes way too long, especially if you're by yourself. Uh, Logan's at work today, so it just takes a lot longer on, off, on, off, trying to adjust those. So if you have a three-point hitch, get yourself a quick hitch because that will make all the world of difference. Okay, after an enormous amount of adjustments, I think we finally got it where we want it. We're not really wanting to, like I said, plow the grass up. We're just wanting to cut it a little bit so that the new seeds can fall in. And I think that's what we've got going on here. So we've got a pretty realistic goal for the day. Um, this is a five acre pasture. So we are going to get this one plowed and get this one seeded and get this one drugged. Um, be nice if we could just drag if we could plow all the fields at once so that we don't have to keep switching implements but that's kind of an unrealistic deal so this will take several hours um, getting this field plowed one of my favorite things about driving the tractor all day in the field is it really just gives you a lot of time to just be quiet and listen to god a lot of time to pray a lot of time just to really deeply think and focus in on what God's saying in your life and stuff. Um, there's no one else to talk to out here, uh, except for you guys today on the camera right here, but uh, there's no one else to talk to. And we've got uh, the radio just playing some worship music in the background and you know, back and forth, back and forth across the field. There's not a whole lot to look at after so many times we're going back and forth. 
So it's just really a time to kind of just thank God for who He is and what He does in your life and pray for our country, pray for our family, pray for direction. Just really, really focus in and like I said, just kind of be quiet and listen to Him. You know, I think a lot of times when we're praying, we ask God for a lot of things and we talk the whole time, we pray the whole time and we don't really listen enough. So out here in the field, this really is a great time to kind of just, as the Bible says, be still and listen. So that's what I do when I'm out here all day on the track. Okay, we've gotten all broke up enough to be able to let the seeds drop in. So we are going to leave the pasture, go back up and get the spreader and the seed and get that put into the ground. Just to give you an example of what we're doing, um, as you can see, we've got, we've got lots of grass growing. We've also got some weeds. We've broken the ground up just enough for the seeds to be able to fall down into those holes there. And then we'll bring the drag back across it to cover them up. But just overseeding, adding more and more seed to what we've already got here so that this will fill all the way in and make a good pasture for next year. We have been sitting in that seat for an incredibly long time, so there's nothing wrong with taking a break and go to the orchard. Uh, we're gonna get some grapes as a little special treat for the lemurs and we'll feed them real quick, just spend some time with them for a second, giving them some fresh fruit and then we will be back on to getting that seed planted in the ground. So we have a few different kinds of varieties of grapes. Um, as you are going to see in a grape juice video soon that we're making, but delicious. It's kind of hard to give the lemurs these because, man, they are good. The grapes, of course, are more just a treat. Um, they do get a different diet every day. They get some monkey biscuits and stuff, but these are just more for treats for them. as much for us as it is for them just getting to interact with them and watch them have fun and have snacks it's like feeding your kids something special Was a good little break but it is supposed to rain tonight so time is very important right now we got to get that seed in the ground and get it covered up before the rain comes so back to work we go all right this is our tiff nine seed and tiff nine is a type of pensacola bahia grass um, it's a variety of that but it is a type of grass that has a higher yield produce more per uh per acre for you um, and it also is a little more drought tolerant and it's also a little more frost tolerant. So just trying to get the most we can out of the grass seed. Hey 
And since we do think it's gonna rain, we're gonna go ahead and put the other barrels into the barn so we don't waste all this money. Uh, we don't want it to get soggy so that it will be able to spread easier. So I'm gonna get these other barrels in the barn and then we will go back out to the pasture. Logan and I joke all the time about we should be sponsored by Five Dollar Energies for our uh, YouTube channel and stuff. But for real, when you've been going all day, uh, sun up, sun down, many of you know about that. This will help you get through. All right, we are back out at the field now. Uh, like I said, this is the first time I was using this tractor to do any of this stuff, so. My old one, there wasn't a cab. I could just reach right here and use the uh, handle, but there's a cab on this one. So, trying to get used to everything and see if we can reach stuff. Uh, we've already set the handle according to the chart here. So, we've got it set to how many pounds per acre we're going to be doing. Uh, get the PTO turned on. Uh, it's on and spinning. Let's see if we can reach out here and get this. seed coming out so here we go all right we are spreading seed now uh, it's about impossible to tell where we have and have not been since we didn't actually, you know, disc the ground a whole lot, so you can't really see your tire tracks. So, kind of doing the best I can, estimating where I have been, and just doing down and back, back and down, back and forth. Uh, so, hopefully, we're spreading it pretty evenly. Uh, today is not the ideal day, actually. It's very windy, and so the seed's kind of broadcasting where it wants. But uh, we already have grass down, so we're just seeding over. So it really doesn't matter as long as it just gets into this field and um, kind of fills in the empty gaps. So wherever it lands, that's fine with me. Racing the rain. I don't know how well you can tell on the camera, but there is rain falling, I'd say probably less than a mile away. So we are racing the rain. I've got about a quarter of the field left to go. And we've got about a quarter of our hopper left. Well, we haven't quite made it. Uh, it is starting to sprinkle. Uh, the wind is picking up more, but we only have two more runs to go. And then we will actually be out of seat in the hopper and the field will be covered. So we're going to finish that up and then make a decision on whether we want to ride the four wheeler to drag the field in the rain or if we want to let nature do its thing and let the rain cover some of it up. Well, we barely made it. Uh, we are on the last run down to the pasture and let the rain arrive. It was starting to come down now, but luckily we got all the seed out, so we didn't waste anything. holding off a little bit still uh, it's definitely coming you can see in the sky it's definitely coming which is awesome that's exactly what we need but we need to get this finished first so uh, we're gonna use the four-wheeler to do the dragging um, the tractor has a cab and air conditioning however four-wheelers have suspension so when you're taking off across the fields uh, it's much more comfortable uh, on your back to be able to ride in the four-wheeler so we're gonna get that done um, we're just using a simple drag and all we're going to do is let this drag just kind of fill the dirt back in over top of the seeds that we've laid out we're just going to let that just pull the sand back over kind of fill in those gaps so here we go rain hold off a little bit longer
Okay, we are officially done. The entire pasture has been drugged. So now all of the seed is under that first layer of soil. And now we just need God to do his thing and bring the rain. Uh, we rushed and rushed the entire time that we were doing this pasture because it kept looking like it was going to rain today. And lo and behold, it hasn't rained at all. It sprinkled, I mean, it lightly rained for about two or three minutes uh, while I was on the tractor, and that's about it. So now we just got to wait on God. God's timing. He knows what he's doing. He will bring the rain when it's time. So we're going to head back up to the barnyard, get everything unhooked, washed up, and put away for the day. And we will do the same thing all over again tomorrow. Uh, we have at least seven more pastures we want to do this to. Um, they're all different sizes. So this is going to be a, a weeks long thing for sure, but now is the right time to get it done. Well guys, as always, God's timing is perfect. Literally just pulled the four wheeler to the barn, didn't even get the tractor yet, and it has started pouring. So. Praying that that grass seed really germinates, really does well. God's timing is always perfect and he knows exactly what to do and when to do it. For those of you who have been watching faithfully all of our videos, we know it's been quite some time between the last video and this video, but life has been happening at rapid speed uh, between all the farm work, Logan's job, uh, and then we both are music ministers at our church, so that takes up a good bit of our time as well. And so it's just been a little hard to get a video in, but we do have some upcoming videos that we've been working on for you guys. Um, one of them you can see right behind me here, we have been working on an outside canning area. The grapes that you saw earlier, Logan has been learning how to make homemade grape juice. And let me tell you what, it is delicious. So we're gonna do a video on that so you guys can see. Uh, we are also, working on doing some product review videos of the equipment that we use here on the farm. One of those videos is going to be on the new Kubota MX5400 uh, tractor and loader. We'll also do a review on the 2020 U-Force 500 from CF Moto, as well as the Kubota BX2680, which is a subcompact tractor. So there are more videos in the works. So we thank you guys for being patient with us on that. Thank you guys for watching today. Um, again, if you wouldn't mind, just click that subscribe, thumbs up, and notification. That just lets uh, YouTube know that you like what you're watching and it will help us to know what we should make more videos about. So from myself, Logan, and every single creature here at His Way Farm and Exotics, may God bless you and we will see you next time.